Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I brushed out my dreads. If you didn't know, I had dreads for five years and I brushed them out recently in the past few months. So this video is just gonna be like how I went from this to this. I basically washed it today and just put some hair gel on it so it looked a little decent. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing you clips that I took throughout the process because it was quite a lengthy process. Let me tell you, it took forever, it just took forever. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but it was worth it to me, so. So a really common myth with the dreads is that you have to shave your head if you no longer want them. But no, you can actually brush them out. What I decided to do was cut off a third to a half of the dread and then brush out the rest so I wouldn't have so much work to do. They were just so long and so old and just there was just so much hair in there that I did not really think it was worth it to try and brush out the ends. It would just be better to let them go. So I still haven't been to a hair salon. It turned out decent. Although it is very obvious that I need like a real haircut, but um, whatever, I will get that at some point later on. Okay, so I had 50 dreads in total. We decided to cut six of them almost from the root just to not have to brush those out and have less work. Now I kind of wish I would have brushed them out, but it's fine. That is why I have this shorter hair down here. Oh, I don't know if you can see. All of this so there you can see all of this is the dreads that we cut oh it's such a cute curl the rest I did brush out so as you can see my mom my sister and a neighbor stepped in to help me brush out my hair because it just took so long you guys it took at least one hour per dread and I had 50 dreads minus the six that we cut off 44 dreads. So it was a lot of work. I don't even know how long it took in total. I did like a batch with my mom, sister and neighbor, and then I kind of took a break for a few weeks, honestly, and then I finished by myself. Now I collected all of the hair that fell out and all of the dreads that I cut. So I want to show you that. All right, so here I have all of the hair. This is so crazy. Um, oh my God, it's so gross. So first here we have all the dreads that I cut. Remember that I cut like half or a third of each dread. Oh my God. And here it is. Oh my God, this is crazy. Thumbnail. Yeah, this is so crazy. Like, I just can't believe this was all in my head. As you can see, that's where I would cut them. These are the ends. Oh man, let's look at one of them. So this is one of the ones that was here, down here. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. It reaches down to like my butt, literally. Because look at this. Yeah, it's long. Oh man, I miss them sometimes. You know, that's a question that I get. Do I miss them? Yes, I miss them sometimes. I miss how they look. I don't really miss how they feel, but I obviously miss them. I mean, they were a part of me for so long. Would I get them again? Probably not. Has the thought crossed my mind slightly? Yes, but I disregard it because I know how uncomfortable they are. And last but not least, we have the hair that fell out from brushing the dreads out. Now, I know it can seem a little alarming at how much hair falls out, but you gotta remember that when you have dreads, all of the hair that would fall out on a daily basis gets stuck inside of the dread. So when you brush them out, you're pretty much detangling all of this hair that just got stuck over the years. So lo and behold, here, oh my god, here is part of the hair that, wow, that fell from my dreads. This is 
crazy. Oh my god, you can see like all the shades of orange from dyeing it. Oh wait, there's more though. Why is it black, you ask? Well, if you don't follow me on my other social medias, you may not know that I dyed my hair black for like a month. What was I thinking? I know. Oh my god, there's like a piece of orange there. <laughs> that happened. So that's why there's black hair because I did that while I still had some dreads to brush out. So you can say my hair has been through it. I mean, it's decent. It's decent. I really can't complain. But I just had so much more hair. Like, I just have so much more hair naturally. But, you know, given the fact that I had dreads for five years, that I, I bleached it every couple months and dyed it orange and then dyed it black and then bleached it and then dyed orange again. I'm pretty happy to still have hair left. So basically the technique that we used was a crochet needle. The same kind that I would use to make dreads is what I use to brush them out. Now, I'm not sure if this is the correct size, of the recommended size, but it's just what I used and it worked for me. I kind of just felt a few sizes and this is what felt good. But you might want to try out a few and see what feels good. I am so happy to be done brushing out my dreads. I am so thankful to everyone that helped. I never want to go through that again, like seriously. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I cannot wait for my hair to grow more and get strong again. However, I am pretty content with how it turned out. Let me know, you guys, if you have ever brushed out dreads, um, if you want to brush out your dreads, if you're thinking about that, you know, what's coming up for you. I know that I really, really thought about shaving my head, and ultimately I realized I still wanted to have, you know, long hair, so that was just the route that I decided to go, the long route. I applaud any and all of you who have the balls to shave your head. At the end of the day, it's just hair, and it must feel amazing. And there's so many cute wigs out there too, so... If you can save yourself the trouble of brushing out your dreads, I would say just shave your head, man. Like, pfft, Jesus Christ. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or entertaining or something. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment. I would love to read you. If you have any questions, anything I didn't talk about, please let me know in the comments and I'd love to make a follow-up video. I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. It just started raining here. So nice. So I'm going to enjoy this rainy Sunday afternoon and I hope you guys do too whenever you're seeing this. Much love.